It's all eyes to the light, and foot to the floor as we go racing in Monaco. It's a good start for Marty. Leonardo Fonorali has to cut across to keep Taylor Barnard at bay. Barnard slots in. The going round the outside is Saucy. He's trying to find a way through. Two by two they go through. Sad the bot. We've got a car in the wall further back. I think it's an MP Motorsport car. I saw an orange livery heading straight into Sad de Bot. Through turn three we go, running uphill to the highest part of the track. And uh, Sebastian Montoya battling with Luke Browning. It's Red Bull Jr. versus Williams Jr. And we've got Kaya Collette, I think, as well, in the Van Amersfoort racing car, trying to slot his way through. Paul Aron finding his way around to through the hairpin we go. Fairly clean start in the end. There it is. Johnny out just on the left-hand side there, dealing with the marshals. That has brought out a safety car as they crane that MP Motorsport away. Uh, tough start for uh, the sprint race there for Johnny Edgar. Had a crash in qualifying as well. Safety car neutralizes the field. Good start from Marty and Fonorali out the front. And uh, that is Farrier. Roberto Farrier, who started at the back and has clearly picked up some damage on that rear right and he'll head into the pit. Can we see Johnny Edgar finding the wall? Yes, we can. Comes together with a trident, and then it all comes to team us up. On board with Saucy, then. They've got clutch maps that they can use for different bite points. He's definitely selected the right one there. Got a really good launch. Tries it round the outside. Brave stuff, and makes it work. Slots into, into P3. Marty taking his time. Through Raskas, Anthony Nogues the final corner, foot to the floor, gets a little bit squirrely coming out the final turn, scrapes a bit of the paint off, he's still trying to get heat into his tyres and break the toe that Fonorali might be able to get down the main straight. We go back under green flag conditions here through turn one. Marty holds on ahead of Fonorali, Saucy, Barnard and Colapinto, the uh, birthday boy in the top five. As you see Colapinto having a little look down the inside there as Taylor Barnard is going go. down the inside, great move. Great move. Really good stuff there. Taylor Barnard uh, losing a position to Franco Colapinto. He thought about it going uh, into Mirabeau. Made the move work through the hairpin. Nicely done. Barnard giving him the space as well. Paul Aron heads the field, uh, or this gaggle of cars at least, in the red and white framer. And Gabriele Mini has caught right up to him. So having fallen back, Mini now all over the back once again of Aron coming into the swimming pool chicane. Mini is looking bullish here. Can he try and find a way through? Down the inside into Raskas. He's right on the back of him. It's a good overtaking point. He takes a slightly wider line than Aaron. He might have a better run out through Anthony Noakes. He'll have DRS this time around. Little bit of a bump on the inside corner of Anthony Noakes. Out onto the main straight. DRS open. Aaron has lost DRS through Kaya Collette. Mini closes up, but he's still not close enough. So it seems like was Nicky at the moment. He's got a little bit of a train developing behind him. See Here's was Nicky at the hairpin, and uh, Ido Cohen was uh, about to be overtaken then by the Van Amersfoort racing car. Tommy Smith was really getting his elbows out so far, and a little bit of a touch to the rear of his Nicky, but Cohen getting back through, and then Smith once again coming close to the wall. Fonorali's teammate in the Trident is who we ride on board with now. Coincidentally, he's also the current championship leader, Gabriel Bortoletto, who is behind Taylor Barnard, who has showcased some really good improvements in the last few races. Managed to get a points paying position last time out in Australia and showing great form in the pre season testing in Imola. This was uh, Zolov. Yeah, Zolov in the ART then trying it down the inside of Nikita Bedroom with a little bit of contact to boot. Bortoletto has fallen back slightly, I think, from uh, Taylor Barnard in the battle for fifth because Sebastian Montoya in the Red Bull liveried high tech makes his way through the final corner now, is right on to the back of Bortoletto. They'll all get DRS, so it might be a bit of a, a, a null point here, but can Montoya try and carry more momentum up the hill than Bortoletto, who perhaps is. Uh, uh, struggling slightly in these closing stages of the sprint race here in Monaco. Pepe Marti, though, so far has been unrivaled, unchallenged, and has really managed to pull a gap now. Four and a half seconds to Leonardo Fonorale. Marti is in the lead by and focusing on bringing it home. Fonorale is coming under pressure for second here because Gregoire Saucy is right onto the back of him in the black and white ART. Slight lock up from Saucy, who is pushing now. A 
and he'll know that second place is there for the taking through the swimming pool complex. Clouts the curb, the approach to Raskas, we'll see not close enough to try anything yet. And I imagine we'll see that lockup happen imminently. Yeah, and there you you you, you know that it, oh, that's damaging my tyre, but he, at the same time, you know, if I release that brake just a bit too early to stop the flat spot, he would either, well, he there was a decent gap in front of him, so he probably would have just skipped over the chicane. And just a few metres to go then for Pepe Marti, who is victorious on the streets of the Principality. He wins the sprint race in Formula 3. Leonardo Fonorali will come home in second. Eight seconds behind, but he holds on to his first podium. And Gregoire Saucy will get the final step in third. Marty then puts his steering wheel back onto the car, stands tall, celebrations galore. Confirmation of your top three, Giuseppe Maria Marti for Campos, Leonardo Fonorali in the Trident and Gregoire Saucy in the ART are your podium. Bortoletto holds on to the lead, 63 points to his name, Saucy 46. Marti gets up into third with 35 points ahead of Mini. Fonorali now in the top five. There we go then. The first place trophy handed out straight away. Rather large trophy there for Pepe Marti to fit into his hand luggage on the way home. Big smiles from all of these drivers. And Campos, Adrian Campos getting involved as well. And there we go. That is nice. If it was hot, that's one way to cool yourself down. <laughs>